வெல்கம் டு ஆர்எம்சி ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மெசேஜ் ஃபார் கிறிஸ்டின் கேரக்டர் ஃபார்மேஷன் லெட் இஸ் பிகின் திஸ் ஸ்மால் ரிஃப்ளெக்ஷன் வித் ஏ ஷார்ட் ப்ரேயர் ஓ மை காட் ஐ ரெண்டர் யூ தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் த பிளெஸிங்ஸ் யூ ஷவர்ட் ஆன் மீ எஸ்டர்டே த்ரூ ஆர்எம்சி டாக்ஸ் டுடே ஐ ப்ரே டு யூ டு மேக் மீ ப்ரூடன்ட் இன் மை பிளான்ஸ் focused in danger patient in adversity and humble in prosperity in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friend a very interesting thing in life is that when someone tells us the truth we demand proof for it on the other hand if someone tells us lies we don't demand any proof for it but rather we believe it without any difficulty this is really baffling there is some innate difficulty for man to accept the truth whereas lies are accepted without any hesitation this is not at all a modern trend it was found even during Jesus time the pharisees and the saduchees came and to test him asked him to show them a sign from heaven he said to them in reply in the evening you say tomorrow will be fair weather the sky is red and in the morning it will be stony stormy today for the sky is red and threatening you know how to interpret the appearance of the sky but you cannot interpret the signs of the times matthew 16:1 to 3 so also when you see all these things you know that he is near at the very gates matthew 24:33 jesus was not too happy to give them any particular sign because jesus also knew probably that it was only for testing him they asked for a sign even if jesus had given them a sign they would not have believed because they did not want to believe in him there is a saying your friends don't need your explanation for what you say or you do your enemies will not accept any of your explanations so why to explain similarly with those who ask for a sign it is not for believing but only for testing if you give them a sign they would ask one more sign that time their argument would be if you could give one sign now then why don't you give one more and such type of asking for proofs will be never ending what about us do we also run after signs and miracles in our lives the number of people running after human gurus godmen etc are increasing this is a fascinating phenomenon though these people are considered as godmen it could also be true that they are only making prayers or pujas for them like interceding no matter what they do the fact is that people are approaching them in huge numbers so what remains is that men are going there voluntarily because they have faith in such human beings with perceived divine powers this means that when people are in search of something for their happiness other needs or even survival they don't mind going to anybody for that matter jesus said come to me i will give you rest i shall not leave you orphans there are so many such promises that the lord has given to those who believe in him all what we need to do is to make people know about it and that is what jesus asked his disciples go 
and preach. This is what we all need to do. RMCA channel is just doing that through these spiritual talks. But for that, my dear friend, we also must first recognize the presence of Jesus in the tabernacle. We can make a sign of the cross each time we pass by in front of a church where there is a tabernacle. This may be a simple and a small gesture, but it means a lot for the person who does it. By such a small gestures, we are preaching Christ. Pope Francis speaks of our mistake. He said, we look for exciting facts and do not recognize the exceptionality of the real presence of Christ in the consecrated host. Many of us want to see crowds kneeling and praying and miracles of all kinds. These are facts that have their significance only in the reference to Jesus. Let us not therefore look for any signs and wait for it. We need to really feel the presence of Christ within our own hearts as well. That will change our lifestyle. This will be noticed by others and in their turn they will be prompted by the Holy Spirit to go to Jesus for whatever they need and thus they too will experience Jesus on their own. That's how we can rebuild the church again. That's all for today. Let me now give you my apostolic blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is good to listen two talks every day, one in the morning and another in the evening. To you, my dear friend, a special thanks for listening this talk. If you liked this talk, please share it with your friends. God will bless you abundantly for your generosity. Wish you all good things in life. In the mission of the church, Bishop Franco Mulakel.